All righty, campers, are we ready for Colorado? Yes, indeedy, y'all. We are getting ready to head out to the wilderness of Colorado, and Emmy is coming with us. And I know you're looking forward to it, and it's your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Trickster. Hey, get me. Ha! How are you, Yummy? <laughs> We're going to have so much fun up there. So what... Um, she knows a little bit about is we're we are going to have a basically like a to-do list but a fun to-do list like an accomplishment list adventure scavenger hunt sort of thing so it's gonna be really cool so all of y'all that uh used to watch the lake life family channel i know we haven't uploaded on that forever um i encounter a lot of people that say oh man you know my wife loves to watch that well hey tune in this week because we're going to be doing a series of camping days out there and it's going to be basically family camping so uh, we aren't taking Ben because he's not quite old enough yet but we are going to take Emmy and we took her two years ago she was just barely ready this year I think she's going to have a ton of fun but we're going to be looking at today is the overlanding camper so we're leaving first thing in the morning tomorrow I wanted to so we're leaving first thing in the morning tomorrow so I wanted to show everybody since camping season is basically upon us uh, how we get our camper ready and some of the things that we put in ours and just show off some of the cool features of uh, our overlanding camper. You need a push. Yeah. I'm going to let go. You ready? One, two, two <gasps> three. There you go. It's almost like we're camping here at the treehouse every day, which is how I like it. I literally built this uh, this parking area over here for ATVs and trailers and boats and stuff to look like a campground because I love it so much. I love truck camping. I bought this um, this overlanding camper because of the family. OSGs needs accommodations. And the reason I like the overlanding style campers is because they are overbuilt. So if you look at the chassis, if you look at the, uh, the frame, um, you know, the tongue, everything is just overbuilt on this camper and it'll last. Plus, you don't get animals that are able to, uh, you know, chew their way through with like wooden panels. This is all uh, either galvanized or stainless, and it's really tough stuff. Skid plates underneath. It's it's ready to go anywhere. Another thing I really like about it is tires. You see all these uh, camping trailers, these big old camping trailers on the highway, and they got these tiny little tires, man. And, you know, that's, I guess that's fine if you're just going to like a paved uh, spot, but I like to like basically go truck camping uh, Places I would go truck camping with uh, the trailer. So that's why I got this thing. You know the push You don't look very happy with that slow. Mm -mm. You need high speed, yeah, I need high speed. Is That better mm -hmm. okay. It is about to be cold this season. So we're actually going to be camping around 9,000 feet uh, which even in the summer can be chilly and my past experiences um, uh, backpack hunting and uh, just going camping in Colorado and stuff it is cold man so to upgrade to be able to keep the the kids and the wife warm uh, every night and just basically have hot showers every day if we want them I upgraded to two 30 pound tanks and I wasn't sure if the Opus was going to take two 30 pound tanks I didn't know if the regulator would fit on there but it works great so it came with two 20s switched it up to two 30s and I'm carrying one extra 20 pound just in case you know we run out something goes wrong whatever so I haven't actually tested those yet so today is kind of the day where we're testing all these things out so we'll make sure all oh, the um, the heaters working the kitchen is working with that gas something I need to do I've, I've only ever done this one time is uh is clean the water system so last time i used this i was with john b we were uh, it was so cold it was like freezing cold we were fishing on uh ohiv for some huge bass and uh, unfortunately those roads were salted coming on the way home because of all the ice on the roads and uh, in texas it was crazy and uh, the trailer got some of that on there and it rusted in some places but again that's why i got the overbuilt trailer so it's uh can take a hitting take a licking and keep on ticking i'm gonna move this over towards our water spigot so i can clean out the water tanks and then i'll show you guys some of the things i've done on the inside as well and some of the things i don't like
another great thing about this camper it is like serious industrial grade we have a parking brake like every trailer should have a parking brake like that but then this system right here i'd almost want this on my boat it just feels like your float the trailer's floating behind you instead of bouncing it's really nice Maybe let's keep it on the back porch, keep some mosquitoes away. That might work. Yeah. Yeah. Irish spring soap. Oh, well, come here. I think you got a little chicken poop on you. Don't tell mommy about that. Okay. Okay. That's about this. Just about that, yep. So, uh, we got some Irish spring soap to put in the chicken coop just to kind of keep, yep, to kind of keep the uh, mosquitoes at bay. Since we finally got rain here in Texas, the mosquitoes have been terrible. So, I don't know if that's gonna work. It just has a really strong scent, and I've read that it does. I just drained the tanks completely. There was just a tiny bit of water in there. It didn't smell or anything, but for OSG, and this little one right here, we're gonna make double sure that we got clean, <laughs> clean water in the tanks. Um, I literally ordered this stuff on Amazon this morning, and I got it here within like a couple hours. So, um, it's Camco's Spring Fresh RV and Marine. Yeah, so I've got two 25 gallon tanks. I'm just gonna run it through the faucets and the shower and everything, just to make sure. It's time to turn on the pump. I haven't turned on this pump in a long time, so let's see. I hear it. Going six amps. Sounds like some leakage down there. Uh-oh. Oh, we're leaking through the thing. Forgot about that. All right, cut that off. Should be all good now. I don't know where all the faucet is in there. It's too high. Oh, there it goes. It is working. Okay, I see the blue stuff coming out. Then we'll try the shower. We're bubbling. Oh yeah. Mom. It's mom? Yeah, that's my car. Yep, she's home. Alright, let's test this sink water. It's working. Getting suds. Here comes my birthday boy. Hey, Bob. You ready to get into anything and everything? That's why you're staying here with Mimi. Goodness, he looks just like me when I was a kid. Look at that. Man. Booger. Yeah, I know. I'm dad dad. Kid's a hell of a climber. Tell you what, he'll claw, crawl up on a lampshade if you give him the opportunity. I'm gonna run this cleaning solution water through all the pipes and everything until it's completely out. Then I'll put some fresh water in it and just kind of flush and make sure everything's good. But it's probably okay to begin with, but you know, going the extra mile as camp commander that wants no complaints on this camping trip. Okay, wife. Yes. Running cleaning solution through all the pipes. All right. See that soapiness? Okay. I want you to be rest assured <laughs> that I'm not going to die. The, the water was clean to begin with. It was like, but I had you thinking about it. You did have me thinking about it. You did, and now we're extra clean. Okay. So. So I can literally like put my face under there and start drinking. You that can. Water. You can brush your teeth without fear. That's what I like to think about. And it's been helping me. Good. So we're getting it done. Well, I did our last minute grocery run. I think we are more than prepped for everything. Good to go? Yeah. Like, in case we decide to take off for an extra week, like... I'm right. down. I don't know if Mimi's going to be down. I don't know if Ben would rascal. be down. My first yeah. time really leaving him. Leaving you on your birthday. Oh. Well, it's it's actually... Um, it was his birthday yesterday, and now it's Emmy's birthday is coming up. Yep. So, this is kind of like her special trip. Lines are now clean. Did you hear that, honey? Clean lines. Clean lines. Clean lines. You can... Music 
to my ears. Basically, you know, use the faucet as a bidet if you would like at this point. Now I have not tested out the new tanks. This is very important. I want to make sure we're staying toasty up there and able to cook. So I'm going to open up one of these babies. Camp kitchen. Opus has a fantastic camp kitchen. Love to see it. Love to cook with it. Moment of truth. Let's fire up. Why is that one is going for this lighter, which I don't understand. What in the world? Do they all go? What? So confused. Come on. New lines. Oh yeah. <laughs> Unicorn in the backpack? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. We have a flame. Try this other one. Hey, there it goes. Once we go camping, I might bring my sister in my backpack. That's a good idea. When we're going to go for a hike, mm -hmm. you might want to take her. Yeah. I might have to put you in my backpack. We'll see. Mm -hmm. But in order to get your climbing badge, you got to climb up there yourself. I know you want that climbing badge. I know you're thinking about it right now. Everything good? We got Every our freeze dried milk. Everything is good. These What's are just there? yeah. This, this is just for Emmy because she likes to have milk in the morning, but she doesn't like it super cold. So this is perfect. But we're still bringing milk because we're gonna have some cheesy grits. What else are we gonna have? It's on that menu. Mm. Those cinnamon rolls aren't there. Those I'm... cinnamon rolls are on the menu. We've got cinnamon rolls. We've got muffins. We've got chili, cornbread, pulled pork. I mean, this time, I think I've prepped almost everything. The only thing that we need to bake is cinnamon rolls. Heck yeah. And we got a Dutch oven to do that in. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, we are going to be rocking out at the camp. Cooking outdoors with OSG. OSG. Outdoor kitchen, baby. Before you go, let me get some of your complaints about this camper. My complaints? Yeah. Like things you would like to see improvements on. Mm. Shower leaks. How yeah. do you mean? Well, did we ever fix that? That it was like coming out the door? Oh, oh. Oh, you mean like the water drips out of the door. Um, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I don't I don't think uh, camp the old camp commander fixed that. Mm. Um, but I don't seem to have a problem with it. It's only when you take a shower <laughs> well, for some reason. Well, of course you're going to blame me. So, I don't know. It's not like I'm having a party in the shower. I don't know what's going on in there, but... <laughs> the only thing that happens is, like, here's a little spigot, and I'm, like, trying to get the water on. Right. Now, yes. So, this isn't a home so shower. So, that's, um, I would say that's my complaint. Um, I don't like the water on the on the floor of the shower. Yeah. I feel like all the complaints Like, when you go in back shower. in there to the wet shower, to you've go got... To so, in order to fix that, we've got uh, squeegee and shamwow. That's how we're remedying that situation. ShamWow and a squeegee. Um, updated with a vacuum. So we can also do a, a wet stuff if necessary. And clean up the little crumblies from the boots and such. I'll go ahead and show them my complaints. Let's see. One of my complaints, this thing right here. This like, thing always gets my fingers. Oh yeah, when you open it, yes. it, it jacks your fingers up. Get these lights going here so they they overbuilt the undercarriage of this thing like the suspension the chassis all of that but opus if you're listening please you got to fix back here these these little parts uh that hold the camper together literally like hold this part up um, there's just these little tiny threaded screws in there that have all this pressure on them. So I've got these 
uh, clamped. I got C clamps on here that are holding that up. When me and Stephanie actually, we, we like hardcore tested this thing at Big Bend. <laughs> Went down off-road trails, old ore trail. Threads basically just rattled uh, smooth. Like they, they, they became smooth, they would not hold anymore. Um, this back here, this bracket, which I thought was pretty sturdy, uh, this cracked, this cracked under the pressure. So there's actually two holding mechanisms. There's this, um, this kind of like wrench, you know, that stays there, that wrenches on, and then you have this clamp. So the clamp broke. And these little, little dudes right here, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me ramp up the light energy. These little threaded screws, that's it. That's all that's holding it in. So like, it's backing out right now. Yeah, see, that's just rattling back and forth. And we're, we're going down like a logging road for 13 miles, you know, cause that kind of stuff ends up uh, coming loose. Again, look at that suspension. Look at the diamond plated covers over the water tanks. You know, look at the frame, it's incredible. And then you just got these little, little bitty screws on there. So anyway, complaint number three or four. Now we need to make sure that the true McCombie system is working and that is the, the heater uh, for the cabin and the water. Whew. Sweating bullets in here. Yep, yep, we got air. We got air coming through, okay, that's good. For those of you wondering if something's different on my truck, you're right. I took the fender flares off. They were cheap. They looked kind of cool, but they, they made the, I don't know. I just think those big uh, flares look better on like a six inch lifted truck with big wide tires. I've got 12 and a half inch tires, but um, they still like were inside of the flares which I mean, is great for not slinging mud, but just didn't look as, um, I don't know, didn't look as cool. And the real reason I took them off is uh, one flew off on the highway. It's coming back from fishing, flapping, big flappers. And then it just whoosh, shot off, hit my boat and then shot off. It didn't do anything in the boat, but it just shot off, you know, somewhere, I don't know. I was out in East Texas somewhere. So I took the rest of them off and I'm not displeased with it. Replaced them with a $40 set of mud flaps, baby. We got some mud flaps, so we're not flapping that mud up onto the Opus. All right, we're gonna close up the gray tank. And we purge that cleaner through the, the hot water heater and everything as well. So we should be good. We got fresh water running through there. Wife's happy, happy life, happy, happy wife, something like that. Starting to rain, of course. I swear, you guys can probably track this with all the videos I've made on here with this thing. Pretty much every time I break it out, it rains. One of you sent me this sticker a long time ago. Don't remember who, but I've been meaning to put it on my camper for a while. I love pooping in the woods. Just kind of sums it all up, doesn't it? I think right up here up front, you know what I mean? Just let everyone know, straight out of the gate, what we got going on here. I like that right there, right about the Great Lakes. Wah-bam. What I love about camping, typically, is the adversities we're not gonna have much of that here with the opus but you know it's the the lack of just the normal that you're used to and learning to adapt to things um, while you're living in the woods I think that's very interesting when I'm family camping though I love to eat that is where a lot of my pleasure comes from so course the scenery it's awesome but osg i haven't even opened this up i know she's she's hooked hooked it up good she does every time looks like she's got some greens in here 
So on this uh, Dometic here, I've got one side refrigerator, other side freezer, which is kind of nice. And we've got milk, we've got our, looks like, you know, kid foods basically, butters, all that fun stuff. She made pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. Looks like I've got apples in here. Uh, guacamole, um, looks like some bacon, oranges, other fresh fruits. And then on this side, oh my gosh, I'm allergic to these. She hit me with that, that peanut butter right there. Those are for Emmy though. Cinnamon rolls, frozen. You guys are not going to want to miss that video. And uh, looks like I've got cornbread and she froze the soups and stuff, which is really smart. So she went ahead and put those in Ziplocs, froze them up. That way when we get there, we can just enjoy. Now one other addition that we put in here, just to give Emmy a taste of home, and I'm going to leave it kind of dark so you guys can see, is we added some star lights or colorful night lights in here on her bed. So she has uh, like these light up star lights in her bed here at home. And this is just kind of a little piece of home, you know, so she doesn't get homesick. I don't think she will, but just uh, adds a little ambiance in here. As far as the truck goes, I'm going as light as I think I've ever been. You know, typically this thing's loaded down on top as well. But now that we have the Opus, a lot of the stuff just goes inside of the camper. I am bringing in some firewood. Got some uh, mildly wet oak here, some elm that we're going to be taking, water jugs, already put fresh water in there, also filled up this fresh water. We got our uh, five gallon jug of diesel as well, never leave home when I'm truck camping without that. Very large and not fun to pack, but those folding chairs you see in the back, those big ones, those recliners, those are amazing. Those are a must have. They take up a ton of space, but they're a must have. And back in the back, I've got just a, a couple of tubs of like just basic camp stuff, bushcraft stuff, axes, ropes, uh, tarps, just in case things get Western out there. This is, OSG with Gorilla Tape. This is uh, This is budget cuts. This is what you know. You live at the treehouse. <laughs> I love my boots so much. That I'm just going to tape it on up. <laughs> Budget cuts. That's what you call. That's what you call one season boot. Sperry. No. Yes, actually. Sperry is a one but, season boot. You know what? These are one of the warmest. I don't have hunters. Hey, babe. Maybe you can get me some hunters for Christmas. I got you some <laughs> some bean boots. You did, but the bean boots aren't. They're not even as warm as these are. I mean. How warm are you trying to be? We're in 50 degree nights, 70 degree days. I know, but these these are, they're like my slippers. I can't believe you're leaving your bean boots. You're they're, going to the mountains. They're my slippers. You're going to be on a nice, warm cup of coffee, hey, I brought these, in the morning. I brought these the last two times we went camping, and you didn't throw a fit, a fit about it. I'm just saying, the bean boot is like, it's an icon. It is. It's an icon item. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll make a last minute decision. Buck wild over here. Give you guys a chicken check update. Him and Mr. Penny got in a big fight the other day, and his comb and waddles are looking a little crusty right now. He's not the sharpest. He's not wearing his best feather tuxedo. He's trying to hide it. Show him, show him your your battle scars, man. Those spurs. Starting to get them spurs going. And Mr. Penny also attacked. Amy the other day she she started screaming I came over here Penny was jumping up and trying to scratch her so he's uh he's on chicken and dumpling territory right now by the way rat patrol nightly patrols I've gotten two more just come out at night see one in the thermals wabam pop him go to bed I'm excited to show everybody your your scavenger hunt and and quests of things, knowledge quests. I think uh, it'll be pretty cool. Pretty cool thing to do. Everybody to do with their kids. OSG has has planned this out, printed this out. I'm it's so pretty excited legit. to show her and y'all. It's this pretty legit. Hunt. That doesn't look like adventure. I don't know what does. 
Oh, and Guggen rubbers, new polos available. Link down below, fresh new designs. This is the dart one that I'm wearing. So you guys make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and just stay tuned if you've been here for a minute and we're gonna have some awesome adventures up in Colorado. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing as well. I'm gonna try to catch every species that I can. Are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready to get in the mountains. It's ready been, it's been off, two right? years for me. Yeah, it's been a while for you. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. All right, stay tuned guys. Thanks for being here. We'll see you in the montanas later.